It wasn't just big news when Toyota swapped out long-reigning CEO Akio Toyota for Koji Sato earlier this year. This change ushered in a new era for the Japanese auto giant, marked by the unveiling of their groundbreaking technology, the Toyota hydrogen combustion engine. While other car manufacturers are doubling down on fully electric vehicles as the future of automobiles, Toyota has held steadfast to a different vision. For Toyota, hydrogen represents the future. This commitment was boldly exemplified by the Mirai, the world's first mass-produced hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, which hit the market several years ago. Now, under Koji Sato's leadership, Toyota is pushing boundaries once more with their latest innovation, the hydrogen combustion engine. Internal combustion engines have been the backbone of transportation for over a century. Yet, their sustainability in today's automotive landscape is increasingly questioned. Many automakers have pivoted towards electric solutions, citing cleaner emissions and lower operating costs. Tesla, a pioneer in this space, has demonstrated the viability of electric vehicles, EVs, across key metrics like range and efficiency. However, Toyota's commitment to hydrogen hasn't wavered. Their engineering prowess has culminated in the hydrogen internal combustion engine, showcasing promising results in emissions reduction and performance. This isn't just about technology, it's about Toyota's bold stance on the future of mobility. While others focus on electrons, Toyota is harnessing hydrogen's potential to revolutionize how we drive. In the next phase of automotive innovation, Toyota's hydrogen journey promises to reshape industry norms and redefine what's possible on the road. However, Toyota's big milestones didn't just begin today. Toyota made it clear that their vision is possible with the Mirai. The story of Toyota's investments in the world of hydrogen-powered vehicles will be incomplete without mentioning the Mirai. As far back as 1992, Toyota began developing hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles, SCEVs. The Mirai, which was the result of this initiative, has over the years undergone a series of remodeling and improvements. In 2014, Toyota made the Mirai available to the public as the first mass-produced hydrogen SCEV to be sold commercially. Initially meant for the Japanese market alone, the good reception that Mirai enjoyed resulted in Toyota making the car available worldwide. Many years later, the Mirai remains one of the most successful hydrogen SCEVs in the automobile world. Toyota, even with a change in leadership, has remained steadfast in its ideology of using hydrogen fuel instead of electric vehicles. It's also worth mentioning that in recent times, Toyota has invested in electric vehicles. However, the new CEO, Koji Sato, recently admitted that he doesn't see electric vehicles overtaking hydrogen-powered cars anytime soon. Unlike the Mirai, which is powered by fuel cell technology that converts hydrogen to generate electricity, Toyota's new engine is a hydrogen combustion engine. The H2 internal combustion engine, often referred to as H2 ICE, was recently unveiled as the powertrain for the new Corolla H2 Cross prototype. Still in the early stages, it's safe to say that this new engine changes everything. For starters, it's expected to change how vehicle manufacturers approach the use of hydrogen fuel to power vehicles. The company has shown that fuel cells are not the only way hydrogen can be used to power automobiles. Internal combustion engines provide an equally viable zero-emission option. Toyota's GR Corolla H2 Cross prototype, which is inspired by the GR Corolla, is an attempt by Toyota to merge into one car the handling of the GR Corolla with the environmental friendliness of the hydrogen engine. The car is powered by a turbocharged 1.6-liter three-cylinder hydrogen combustion engine capable of producing 300 horsepower. It's an all-wheel drive vehicle with variable torque distribution and uses a six-speed intelligent manual transmission. The H2 internal combustion engine is also used in Toyota Corolla sport race cars. The hydrogen-powered Toyota GR Corolla H2 made its racing debut in 2021 at the Super Taikyu Series endurance races in Japan, and since its debut, the engine's performance has been considerably improved to levels similar to those of carbon engines, with better power, torque, and a faster refueling time. The driving range for a single refill has also been improved by about 20%, quite some competition with traditional eyes. But just how does Toyota's new engine operate? The operation of the hydrogen internal combustion engine is similar to that of an engine run on compressed natural gas. However, in the case of the hydrogen engine, a bigger and thicker tank is required to keep the hydrogen gas in. 
Toyota's system is a bit different, given the fact that it includes a small battery, essentially making it a hybrid. This helps reduce the emission of nitrogen oxides into the environment and improves fuel economy. Hydrogen, which serves as the fuel in this engine, is a highly flammable gas that requires careful handling to prevent a fire outbreak. Hardened valves, valve seats, and connecting rods are also necessary since they transport gas and not liquid. All these measures are taken to avoid leaks, which can be dangerous given the volatility of hydrogen gas. A2 internal combustion engines have the potential to produce more power than hydrocarbon engines because hydrogen burns more efficiently compared to gasoline. They also produce similar torque and horsepower. These engines produce zero CO2 emissions, with water being the byproduct of the oxygen and hydrogen reaction that takes place in the engine. This water is then disposed of through the exhaust as vapor, resulting in less air pollution and further strengthening efforts to combat ozone depletion due to harmful carbon emissions. Again, drivers who are used to driving gasoline engines will also notice that the handling of hydrogen-powered cars is quite similar to that of more conventional gasoline vehicles. And unless you're aware that you're driving a hydrogen car, you might not notice anything different about it until it's time to refuel. It takes less time to refill a hydrogen tank than it does to refill a gasoline engine. Toyota hydrogen combustion engines can be refilled within 90 seconds, yet they offer longer ranges compared to hydrocarbon fuel-powered vehicles, making them more suitable for long-distance journeys. These are all great stats, you'd say, but not every car manufacturer thinks Toyota is on the right track. In a 2019 interview, Musk referred to hydrogen fuel cells as mind-bogglingly stupid. He stated that producing and storing hydrogen is an inefficient process, requiring a lot of energy and facing challenges with transportation and infrastructure. He's also often emphasized the limitations of hydrogen infrastructure compared to electric vehicle charging infrastructure. For Musk, building a widespread hydrogen refueling network is a daunting task, and it would be more practical and efficient to invest in expanding electric vehicle charging infrastructure instead. He's also stated that the overall efficiency of hydrogen production, storage, and conversion into electricity is lower than charging a battery directly with electricity. Again, Elon Musk has also raised concerns about the economics of hydrogen technology, stating that the cost of hydrogen fuel cell systems is significantly higher compared to battery electric systems. But although many don't seem to agree with Toyota, the Japanese automaker has still stuck with hydrogen as the best alternative to the fast approaching ice. Well, just before criticizing Toyota for being so stoic in their decision, here are a few reasons why Toyota believes in hydrogen. Zero emissions. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, SCEVs, produce zero tailpipe emissions. The only byproduct of the chemical reaction that occurs in a fuel cell vehicle is water vapor, making them environmentally friendly and contributing to improved air quality. 